Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farms. Woohoo! Your host with not the most, uh, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing? We are finally, finally in early summer. Now I can start recording more episodes of Long Oak. I learned something new, but first, before we do that, while, uh, Pepper Betty. Okay. Don't know a bit. Well, I do know it. I got Aunt Betty. But anyway, uh, let's go in here and complete some of these con uh, contracts. 5,003 on that. Hmm? 3,000. Whopping 10,000. Uh, two and a half. Uh, we got a bale and a transport, and uh, I took a. Uh, Harvesting contract too. That's for a barley. And um, we're on our last fertilizer contract here. We have no loan, and our balance is nine hundred ninety thousand. Um, as far as I know, there's no great demand. Oh, yep, for bread. We don't have bread, so look at our map, folks. Our grass. Is ready to be harvested. Our wheat's ready to be harvested. Our canola's ready to be harvested. Uh, we, but we gotta plant cotton first. Um, going here, our animals are good. I'm not gonna show you that. But today's good. Thursday's good. And come Friday, it's gonna be raining. Uh, this is what we're we're on uh, early summer here. Why are you stopping? Don't stop. Go forward. There's the bushes that does it, folks. But anyway, today we are going to be planting cotton mostly. Uh, I do have combines leased, uh, but. This video is going to be about planting cotton. The later the day after noon, which will be tomorrow's video, is going to be about harvesting wheat and hopefully canola. So uh, I'm going to finish up this contract and then we're going to get over to the planters. And uh, so, yeah, see you in just a bit. All right, we have the John Deere 9620RX. On the Landau, uh, do I have a number? Seventy-four fifty. Yeah, cultivating this ground, this cotton ground. So let's get him started, or her. Ah, right, come on. All right, Sarah's gonna be on that. And where's my other tractor at? I got the other one. Sorry, Sarah. Ah, there it is. Way over here. Right there. Dunn's on this uh, uh, regular worker. This one's on the uh, course play route, but this is the case Phil Covator 200. Get the heralds in the back, and of course this is the uh, 8400R John Deere by Custom Modding. Yeah, let's see. Uh, start start the tractor. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Now we're just going to drive course. Stop at the last and show y'all the route here. But uh, it, it's supposed to go all the way over to here, then come back and start on, I guess, right here, and then go down that way. But the oven's right in here somewhere, so I won't go that far. Um, let's see here. Oh, wrong way. There we go. There's the planters I went with. 
Another CCS C delivery by John Deere. This is a number on it, but uh, yeah, it's the newest planter that came out. And I got the little beady tiny hoppers right back here. That this thing blows seeds into leaves, and then they, but they're kind of hard to fill up. And I'll show you this little purple dot right here. There's a, there's a good thing on that where you can see where you're putting your seeds at. This is an updated bin. I can't remember who it's by, but it is on the mod. And, of course, the tarp would be covered. But it's got... You can see the back bin. It's like two hoppers. It's fuller than the middle bin, which is two little hoppers. And then the front bin, two more little hoppers, and it's down a little bit lower. It's got three sections. You can have one solid section, two sections, or three. And this truck is awesome, folks. Or trailer, I should say. All right, we're going to fill this one up. Attempt two. Oh, 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 oh. As you can see, you got to be very, very precise. All right, that should be filled up. And I got to get this guy going first because we got to fertilize. Oh, this is the Case Titan 3540. Uh, solid fertilized spreader. That's the wing type. It gets blowed out through here instead of slung out the back by a spinner bed. So, yeah. Duck my. Duck down. Come on. Oh, I can't go under. Take a look inside. Pretty red seats. Typical stuff. Yeah, that's, that's uh, our worker. Helper Andy. We got to keep an eye on him when he's gets close to the pivot. But we're gonna go ahead and set these guys up. And this type of plant, well, we'll get 12 rows around here, but. Oh, yeah, I forgot these guys are on course playing also. I'd be right back. I got to drive to the other end. All right, this is the marker we're supposed to start at. And. Exactly where it's at. Lane offset is one left, and the oven's gonna be one right. And let's hope I got it set up right. But we are on cotton. We're on drive course. Um, needs to be refilled with what? It's supposed to be only seeds. Alright, I don't want to stop the driver on that. He's still doing good. There's our other one. These things take furlongs? All right, I'm gonna run this one back to the shop. And uh, I'm gonna get some fertilizer in it and I'll meet you back out here. All right, folks, it's liquid fertilizer. Try dry fertilizer, wouldn't take. I'm like, what the? And then all of a sudden, I'm like, maybe liquid, and it, it holds liquid. But anyway, we are back here. 
And uh, yeah, this is the one left, so it's going to drive course, stop at the last. Now, wasn't that just filled? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop driver back up. I know I, I, I had that feel. Did I just not have that feel? I, I think I should have tested these before I started recording folks. Alright, we're on uh the cotton planter here. We got wait what liquid fertilizer one gallon? Um, when I put tanks on this, really, that's why it went out so fast. Turn on fire, lower, and out, just like that. All right, we, we, we got to have tanks, folks. We got to have tanks. Uh, no planting cotton today. Oh, Lord. Be right back. Be right back. All right, folks, sorry about that. My uh, rig here just ran into the pivot. So that worker's not working with us no more. So... I thought I had a GPS on this. But anyway, um, I got to do some research on the cotton, cotton planters. Um, probably have to see if I can get some kind of tanks on those tractors. Which I got some in mind. It's the the 360 tanks, but I don't know if it's for those trackers. Should be. I gotta get my GPS set up so I won't waste any of this good, high expensive uh, fertilizer. Let's see. Oh, that and that. There we go. Uh, we're going uh, east and west. And no, that and that. Okay, we're good to go there. Uh, lines off just a little bit. Other way. That should work. And let's go. Let's go, folks. I'm just going to do this. Uh, maybe uh, around here and get past this pivot and then we'll get started back that don't look quite right there with that cultivator but I check on him too why am I missing a gap down to there Now that side done been sprayed uh, with the pivot. I ain't gonna have to walk it around, so. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. It's shown to be respraying. But I'm gonna do a little bit more of this, folks, and uh, I gotta figure out what that tractor's doing over there. I don't know, it's, cause it looks awfully far away. And he's backing up. Don't you just love good workers?
but yeah this this right here we're leasing um, we're leasing something else but I can't remember what it is do that and let's go in the store garage let's go to the garage and lease oh the combine yeah I forgot about that we're uh, renting the combines too and that's what they look like but y'all gonna see them in the next episode yeah they're awesome folks I think but yeah I'll be back in just a little bit all right folks I don't know what this worker was doing but he went completely around the road here and and uh doing half patches over So I guess you're going to get to see uh, a little bit of everything set for the planters today. Doing a higher worker now. Nope. Around this road here, they do not want to work. I'm glad we got this tractor. I, I love it. Well, it's just Randall. We need to take a, a case scratcher over we got. Trade in for another one of these. And, uh, with the hired worker, it, it won't turn around right. Or as you do course play. And this one here works fine with this rigor worker. As long as you hang around this road type here. And then it starts wanting to act crazy. I already got some weeds popping up. Move the color lady. That's bad, folks. As long as our sprayer fertilizer guy doing all right, we'd be good. That's uh, money wasted if he don't. I've uh, been doing some tree work over by the pigs too. Almost got that area cleaned up. And as you can see, our trucks are over there along with our green buggy. Tell me I can take it all. And this guy don't like GPS very much either. Uh, I start GPS on him. And his uh, booty wants to wiggle. Be done like this right here. But it does come in handy though. Yeah, I'm going to miss some there, but ain't too bad to worry about it. As long as you get the majority. real quick I like doing this and then put it back on what you want and that way it seems to catch for some reason when you do it that way uh, auto whiff back that down just a little bit and then uh, I go from there oh I'm missing a lot now Do 
didn't set the line for me. Uh oh. Buddy. Oh, you're, you're already done that. Okay, I, I think that's the through he takes to start working back this way. Alright, that's just a little bit too much lever, and plus I need to go catch him, so, uh, yeah, you know what time it is. Alright, folks, I think I got this figured out now. Uh, as you can see, of course, um, uh, I had to go get the 360 tanks to fill them up with liquid fertilizer. But here, I gotta change this to first waypoint, drive core, stop at the last. I'm gonna hop out, get back here, and this, and here's the tanks, by the way. And these are supposed to work with the new uh, hose system that's going around. Oh, some of y'all probably seen that already. All right, first waypoint. I don't know if I need to, I probably need to let this one get a little bit ahead but I'm gonna go ahead and see what's going to happen here was this in the this is one right what was the other one? Oh, stop driver oh he's I'm gonna stop him too Okay, we'll finish him up here in a second. This guy is one right. Okay. And this guy is supposed to be one left. What happened? There we go. Now, stir him back up. Finders up. First waypoint. Now he should go to the left side. I got so many windows open here, it's unreal, ain't it? As long as we're doing cotton. Okay, what's going on that side? And he should stop right along in here. All he skips two threes or around will be alright. And look like he's doing that. Um, turn. Well, he's definitely doing something different. I'm just gonna let him go. Cause he's definitely scooted over far enough. So yeah, this is the new 360 tanks that come out, Yield Center, um, custom modern I believe. And, um, if I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. But uh, yeah, you get that valve that closes it off, it goes back to the machine, and you get that in there that wires that goes both tanks. Bill lids up here. The uh, tractor just flew by us and I didn't even see it. But yeah, <laughs> well, folks, we are planting cotton. We just have to see how this. Uh, I think what I did wrong 
is I put skip a row in there and it's skipping more than I want to. I gotta watch him with the pivot. So let me uh, run over here real quick and see what the coveters are messed up in over here. I guess it would be faster if I just do this. Why are you in traffic? Uh, okay. Oh, well, we're gonna. Oh, that's 13. Duh. This guy's done, so. We're gonna let the one behind finish that through. We're gonna raise this up, fold up, and we're gonna park him. And, uh, yeah, close out all this mess. Uh, don't need that no more. Guess I'm gonna park him right here beside the building. Hopefully make sure all this be straight down through here and be nice and neat. Alright. Uh, wrong way. Uh, we got the uh, 9570 RT on the JM green cart. Well, for two new trailers here, they uh, got belts on the bottom, belt from the back door, and yeah, they don't raise up or nothing, or, or shouldn't raise. And, uh, oh, gotta save again. Be right back. Uh, he's a little slow to turn around, so I'm gonna rehire him. But folks, I guess I'm fixing to close out this uh, episode. As you can see up there, big red machine. Alright, that's on a hired worker. Hopefully it don't. This is what we're looking like right now. And to make sure it's cotton. Okay. And um, yeah, we, we got a bunch of withered spots in our fields. And uh, yeah. And there's not really that much weeds. This field here is getting a lot of weeds, but others are pretty good. Look like I got a spot to fertilize right here, too. Well, we're getting a second on there. We need the third. Here's the third there, and where that field looks like. All right. Yep. Got to start you back up. He should be done with that through by the time you get over there, hopefully. There you go, about halfway. Ooh. But he's just going to do this field, and hopefully he'll have enough to do it. Looks like it's going to, because he's getting in the short rows. So, uh, yeah, from there, I just want to look at this before we go. Now, how did he get through? Yes. Did you drive through it? Okay, see, that's the last row I want him to do. Or is it? Now I want him to do one more pass, so let's move this over. As you can see, it's scooting over. I have to move it. You turn on the engine, which is electric. Then you turn on the spray, and it does. Uh, I'm trying to get it moved over enough where they can make one more pass. That'd be kind of like a parking area for this. These are what farmers do around here. They'll plant down with side of it, try to get it as straight as possible, 
and there's a plant on both sides and leave it where it's sitting at empty so hopefully that'll do it right there I'm gonna turn the motor off you can see all the yeah just like that right there Ooh, we got a planter on this side oh whoa where am I going ah okay hey Elizabeth uh, Betsy's driving this one. not the cow not the cow the human Get zoom in here that's done pretty good it skipped that pretty good Ooh, this one's coming down on this side And I'll probably do some of this off screen around this pivot because I sure don't want them to hit it. Last thing they need, right? But anyway, folks, it's 30 something minutes here. And I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for the likes, comments, support, and all that. I'm hitting that red button for me. And, and yeah, quite a few of y'all ain't, ain't, ain't hit that red button yet that's watching me. Um, don't know what what's the problem is you know hey i i know i ain't the best youtuber at, at doing this but maybe one day i get enough practice and enough y'all's comments i'll be real good not the best but i'll be good and i forgot about the road going across there <laughs> but anyway folks y'all have a great day a blessed day and I will see you in tomorrow's episode, or, or the next episode. It might not be tomorrow, but yeah. Bye, folks.